some joy in this beautiful Friday evening. I had to wait until late afternoon. It's almost seven o'clock now for the weather to cool down. It's getting really hot outside. Hope you guys are well. Clearing your energy field as well so we can open the message for this reading, even clearing myself of any energies I may have clung on to. Any attachments from this earth may leave us now, so I may open the message to come through to do this tarot reading. Amen, amen, amen. So I'll just leave it burning here while I do the quick reading. And it's just basically whatever we need to know right now. That's the, uh, the message for you. So anything we need to know for you watching at home. Anything in particular we should be aware of. This is just a generalized message reading. If you'd like to book your own reading for me, check out TonyBomboni.com using 10% off code if you're new Tony and 20% off code Tony too if you're returning. I hope you can hear me. It's quite noisy. From the birds to the wind to perhaps late afternoon traffic, people coming back from work in the distance. All right, whatever you guys need to know, using your intuition to allow the message to come through. Okay. It's a lot of ash from the sage. Okay. So again, whatever vibes, whatever kind of resonates with you, um, that's the message in particular for you. So I am seeing here uh, something about being unable to travel. Maybe you're being restricted from travel or uh, some of you are unable to move on from a conflict or a situation in particular. So there's something in regards to having um, held yourself back from an opportunity perhaps as well. Recently, if you've had some form of like thing where you've needed to attend and maybe you didn't want to necessarily attend, um, it could also be you're holding your, yourself back from some opportunity, some missed chances perhaps maybe to meet someone or um, just missed opportunity in general to be able to be with someone to be able to connect with someone and vibe with someone some some missed opportunities here with that okay it's down the path and maybe you should have um, made connections with this person and you chose not to maybe for insecurity or for your own personal reasons or boundaries and there's a good thing as boundaries but to have those boundaries is a good thing I mean but like sometimes we can have too many of them and then we either attract a situation where um, there's a situation we can't get out of or avoid from a person because we're setting too many boundaries and they're trying to push in or like you just block yourself off from everyone right and so I think this is a good time to um, organize yourself to meet with others and uh, prioritize time together. Well, the sage seems to have died down. Gotta love sage. I hope that dog in the distance is not disturbing your peace. Okay, so let's move onwards. Yes, you're blinding yourself. It's like you're holding yourself back progress or achieving like good things in your life because you keep maybe closing yourself off from opportunity from people or opportunity um, you're probably distracted by other things as well maybe other people or situations that are not like supposed to be really necessarily in alignment with you right now well I know spirits come through because a huge rabbit just darted across my yard so yes like the freedom and and like there's like good luck in that. I think that's what the universe is saying. 
they're definitely coming through and they're communicating with me deeply. Um, I rarely see rabbits here and now the dog is speaking so that's something. Um, I think you need to, um, really there's, there's goodness in people. I think you need to give them a second chance or give a friend you maybe don't communicate with anymore a second opportunity to come through and converse with you because, you know, um, a lot of times we say, oh, forget you, you know, this old friend. Um, we say, we can't trust you anymore in our group or our clique, right? Because you did this thing. Have faith. Have trust. It's the bad energies in that person coming through. It's not the person itself that you need to not trust. Everyone is to be trusted to some degree. Even the enemy has friends, right? Even the snake has friends, but you need to look that past that, okay? Now is the time to look at like the good in people. So I'm not saying like trust them with everything, but open your heart more. Maybe they're needing to apologize to you or, or want forgiveness and they feel guilt, right? So give them a second chance in that way. But yes, of course, set the boundary with them as well because um, once a trust is broken, of course, it's never again the same. But you need to be more open-minded, right? Spiritually speaking, you need to be more trusting. Otherwise, it's like you yourself sabotage. You yourself close yourself off from opportunities, right? When you um, have a lack of uh, faith or trust in someone. So, uh, you know, the enemy thinks they win then because, you know, you, you don't put your faith and trust um, to just anyone. But if you close yourself off, they win, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, I think maybe some of you may have some health um, issues, maybe feeling like a weakness or something like that, or like you're feeling like um, there's something where you need to like get more sunlight or take good care of yourself. Um, maybe some of this is very helpful, right? You know, like open yourself up to maybe a cleansing or detox. There's something here where um, your abilities to even work may be compromised in the coming um, month ahead. Um, I've seen more for like April, May perhaps. Maybe the sinuses and the season change is affecting like... Um, your allergies is messing with you, perhaps. You know, keep that in mind as well, okay? Because strength fades over time for all of us. Um, so how do you manage your healthy body the most you can? And some of you may be in a high position, maybe too prideful this coming month, okay? Be careful of that. Be careful of any arrogance or pride coming through, even how you portray through other people as well because maybe you got hired in a better greater now position and you're wanting to say like oh you know in in your head you don't want to maybe say it out loud but some people think this like they're better than you kind of mindset or like i'm better than you type of activity so keep in mind how you're feeling about yourself right how you are portraying yourself through others how you're feeling about yourself through others as well because this can come through as off-putting to a lot of people, maybe like snobbish and um, sort of like, sorry, my nose itchy for me from the sage and the outside, maybe I had some allergies as well. The season change, I need to go water my plants after this video. Um, I'm looking out because it's a very beautiful lush green day, so it's like I'm kind of admiring the scenery while I'm speaking. Um, but. Yeah, it's sort of like um, maybe you put yourself in a position where you sabotaged purposely, right? Because you don't want to be in a particular workplace or position anymore. Like there's something in you that kind of sort of feels like I'm not good enough for this job, so I'll sabotage it in the form of speaking arrogantly about myself too prideful too soon, right? Like maybe you're only two years at the job and you're speaking too soon about uh, successes and great accomplishments so you need to maybe put yourself down in a good way like there's such a good thing as like you know there's there's such a thing as overconfidence there's such a thing as being overly prideful so maybe you need to like tap it down tone it down a bit unless you're in a workplace for five plus years maybe you need to tone it down and 
even then it's like, okay, you were once in a position where you were only four or five months at a job. Maybe even if you're four or five years at a job, tone it down a bit because the newcomer's looking at you like, oh, who's this? Like, who do they think they are? You know, like that kind of one. Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, who? Like, they don't know what that means and you're replaceable tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So be careful. Be careful. Um, yeah, so it feels like you're maybe not even wanting to work as hard as before or try as hard because you feel like you're overqualified now and you feel like this attitude of like, I'm better and I don't need to try anymore. Well, that's not true. Actually, you continue need to put your effort because you need to set an example to your younger peers who come in the workplace. For example, like maybe you're 28 and they're 23 and just getting started fresh out of college. You need to be kind of the guide master, like the wolf pack leader setting an example for them and carving the way so they understand the path so they may not be lost they are depending on you financially there's some people depending on you for this guidance and the, for this wisdom and advice and your courage and bravery to show the way for other people so don't be too prideful don't think too soon okay because that can actually even it's linked together affect the health okay because all of a sudden people talking bad about you you're finding about a about, about workplace drama and gossip and now all of a sudden you can't even eat and you get look frail and thin and sick because all of a sudden you're so impacted by like you're consuming their words and their negativity that you can't even eat because you're so filled with this negative uh, words that our others are saying about you so be careful about that okay um, that spirit confirmed me because a big blue jay just went right on top of that tree. So I know that's what they're saying. Like, be careful, okay? Workplace kind of social activities. Be very precautious, but be open and trusting as well. Okay? So again, general message for whatever connects with Yes, you. be careful with your boss, whoever that may be, because um, they could really, like, pick up on word. And all of a sudden, someone, like, reports you or says something bad about you to them over lunch. And all of a sudden, you're at public enemy number one. You're looked at as the person they come for, right? The snake or, you know, the they even will think and twist the words to make it seem like you're the one speaking gossip and drama. It hurts. It really does. So uh, be very precautious of these energies, okay? Okay. I'm obsessed with sage. You know, this is week A. Sometimes when you crack open new sage, it's like, takes a while to get it, like, in, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get it in. People who use sage every, every week know what I'm talking about. You gotta get it in. You gotta really get the flame going. Yes. Alright, so, yeah, be careful. They could be like Aries energy. when they get upset oh, honey you don't want to mess with them because you won't get fired okay this could also be brought into your home life in your love life in your relationships with people okay so be very cautious of how you bring about your workplace stress drama and problems at home you don't want to bring that energy into where you are residing because this can influence how you feel you know, you're already dealing with that enough at the workplace. You want to bring peace in your home as well. So I wouldn't necessarily bring that at home as well and disturb and cause more disruption of your peace and a chaos, okay? Because it can actually affect even losing job and relationship. There's some heavy energies here, so that's why, maybe that's why I intuitively brought this age. A lot of you are going through right now and um, you want to avoid as well not avoid in a sense where you're living in fear of it but at the same time you want to be able to have the tools and resources just like in a job interview they ask you like if something goes down at the workplace what would you do to best manage this use those same skills that you mentioned at that interview how would you best manage drama at the workplace people will gossip you talk about each other how would you settle it intentions in a peaceful way why is it that people are making me public enemy number one what is it about me that is so off-putting? Maybe I'm being too prideful, arrogant, without even realizing it. Maybe.
maybe I'm speaking too soon on behalf of accomplishments I haven't even deserved to achieve yet. Even if I've been here longer, doesn't mean I'm necessarily more qualified and better than my peers, right? Just one of many examples. Um, but um, yes, the twist of fate could also deem that you are maybe overqualified and maybe this is meant to occur so that you can find other a line of work and thankfully you already have more than enough experience to show on a resume. So you'll be able to find even better work. Um, okay, even if it feels like you're starting over, that's the cycle of life, right? The wheel of fortune here it deems the fate of people and it shows that like, yes, this is your time of change. This is a time of shift and you're not meant to sit in the vibration of those co-workers you're dealing with right now, okay? Uh, it's time to move on. It's time to protect yourself from those energies. Could also be why I'm wearing green all of a sudden, like a just protection intuitively, green all around me, like I maybe felt I need to be outside. This is also like silvery green. So something with a green, something protective, all of a sudden I'm drawn to, and this is green as well. See, his cloak is green. So again, adorn yourself with the protective. Maybe you need to wear green, or just have your green crystals. This happens to be Amazonite. Uh, bring to the workplace to protect yourself from this dark force energy trying to come through. Because I feel like there's someone, a rat, a really nasty rat or a snake in your workplace. And you know what's funny? The snake chases the rat, right? The rat runs from the snake, but they're one and the same. So, um, ironic, right? Uh, so it's like they're trying to push and chase you away from opportunity as well. And um, I don't think you deserve that, but also keep yourself in check of how you react to others as well. And yes, look again, her green hair, you'll come out victorious and overqualified and emotionally better on top of this. When you see uh, to others that you are um, the better person, again, not in an arrogant way, but in a way where you are better able to manage emotionally, like you don't just fight back or, you know, involve yourself back in drama and snap back. You know, you hold yourself high of a value and you show to other people that you are worthy. And if they don't want you there, you will find a better place elsewhere. And then you're going to be in a better position than them because you were able to manage the drama that was going on. So, um, yeah, this feels like a very specific reading, but I feel like, again, it's like very general for all of you. Maybe some of you are going through some issues with coworkers or people you work with at your workplace that could be contributing to a stressful feeling within you. Okay, a lot of times people take on their work problems in their lives and they forget to disconnect that and it's hard because it's a huge part of your life you're sustaining. Um, I posted something the other day, like, if you drive a Range Rover, it ain't a status symbol if you're driving into a job you hate. Ouch, I know, but you know what? Sometimes we need to hear that because it helps us reevaluate our lives and see, like, okay, that is a huge part of your life, your work. It brings you that Range Rover, which brings you that boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, which brings you that child. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are drawn to that. Like, what's your job? What's your credit score? Blah, 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 blah. So it's like status symbol, right? So it's very important to you, and I feel like a lot of you are that kind of like fire sign, earth sign energy right now coming through, watching this maybe some, of course, water, air. It's a mixed reading, but it's like you're going to go through the mix and the motions and maybe all types of signs that are dealing with this drama. So be very careful, okay? I'm going to see some of what's going on with you. Also be school, okay? If you're not at work. Alright, let's see what else is going on here. What else, what else, what else? Anything we need to know, anything to say or know about you in general, your energies right now. What else is going on with you in this general reading? Whatever draws you in, whatever connects with you intuitively. Let's see what else we need to know. Do you to your Thank you for allowing me to see the same Thank you, thank you. So it's almost like letting go is not an option right now. Like you right now need to hold on for dear life and ride out this roller coaster because it's quite a ride you're going to have to go through. It's quite a ride you're going to have to experience in terms of like a lesson here. There's something here you need to know. And there's an energy that's out to get you right now. And they're working through people, right? It's not the people, it's the energy. So why is this energy being manifested in your workplace, which delivers you that food on the table, that car you drive to work to, that house you live in, you know? Why are you being put under 
there's so much stress, not to mention a relationship, you're dealing with struggles, maybe even finding relationship because of this, and you feel maybe insecure in yourself. It's kind of like, um, it's going to bring up insecurities, it's going to bring up your deep, most inner flaws, and um, I think this will affect your future for sure if you're not careful with how you manage it. At the end of the day, the ship sails the seas with the right captain. You know, you can't expect a boat to go and not crash ashore or into the depths of the blue from a storm without the proper guidance, right? Even the Titanic sank. So you need to make sure you see the warning signs, the iceberg ahead of time, and are able to divert where you need to avoid drama. In other words, I'm speaking metaphorical here, but you understand that's how terrible it is. I see things in my mind and I speak them out loud. So um, not to burn yourself out. All of a sudden I'm drawn to the ashes that fell on the table, like from the sage. Like you may feel burned out from this energetically. You may be trying too hard. You may be trying too hard to keep your job as well. When it's time to go, I keep seeing five in my head, five months. Maybe within five months you're gonna leave. Um, I don't think you're meant to stay there. I think you're meant to be in a higher up position. Uh, and maybe that's why I saw the nice car too, because you could be way, way qualified than you think if you've been somewhere two years, maybe not now, but four or five years plus. I think it's time. Okay. I think it's time to go. And you'll know when to go. Don't just quit tomorrow or give a two week notice tomorrow. But just give it time to let the drama unfold and see for yourself and show yourself that you're the better person, that you're able to be um, manage the tasks. Because um, if you don't, when you go to the next job, they're going to call in and ask about you at that workplace. And if they say not nice things about you, it's not good. It's not a good look. So it makes your situation harder and it makes you more difficult to look at as qualified, right? So you have to be careful about that as a forward. involved to kind of give guidance you know and help you out here because I feel like you're needing to see things and you're not seeing things clearly right now there's like no light guided shine maybe it feels like you have no friends at the workplace uh, okay and it feels like you're alone um, and that's why I saw that card at the beginning that it wasn't actually travel it was like you just wanting to escape and avoid but you couldn't there's no escape here as scary as that sounds as frightening as that is um, this is a very deep uh, lesson involved here okay about your life because at the end of the day it's trying to show you and guide you that you can't run from your problems they're gonna keep coming back in one form or another and you just need to again hold on to the sails or the steering wheel of the boat and just maneuver it so you can set an example for the smaller boats behind you not that they're more insignificant but um, you know they're gonna end up with this big boat that is having to be steered as well you just need to be an example and show your way because I feel like you're very qualified and uh, even if you're there two years two months I feel like you're gonna go through this and you're very very much qualified more than you think and believe so um, as they say the qualified is called it's not that they're qualified already. They're called to be qualified. So uh, you're definitely called to do some difficult things and manage some difficult tasks. And you're going to be a top priority um, for that as well. But don't expect a raise or promotion. Actually expect it in another place, not the one you currently work at, I feel. So keep that in mind. Um, this is just generally how my readings go. Um, if you'd like to book your own again, TonyBobBunny.com. Remember those cute.